let's have a look at exponents and uh, I'm sure you're familiar with them uh, let's just do something like this first of all 10 squared is equal to 10 times 10 which is 100 now this exponent expression the number 10 here is called the base it's the number that has been put to the power of 2 and this power of 2 here is called the exponent so the exponent is 2 right let's make a little list then if we had 3 to the power of 4 3 to the power of 3 3 to the power of 2 and 3 to the power of 1 what would that look like well 3 squared is just 3 times 3 which is 9 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 27 3 to the power of 4 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 so if it's the power of 4 there's 1 2 3 4 3 has been multiplied and that gives you can think about it this way 9 times 9 81 3 to the power of 1 what do you think that is write it down 3 to the power of 1 is just 3 there's one 3 there so if it's squared there's 2 of them multiplied if it's cubed there's 3 of them if it's the power of 4 there's 4 of them if it's to the power of 1 there's just one of them so uh, quickly fill this out then powers of 2 2 to the power of 5 2 to the power of 4 2 cubed 2 squared and 2 to the power of 1 so just press pause and write down the answer to that so you should have got 2 to the power of 1 is 2 2 squared is 2 times 2 that's 4 2 cubed is 1 2 3 2 is multiplied which is 8 2 to the power of 4 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 that's 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 and 2 to the power of 5 you should have got 32 5 2 has been multiplied okay so what about this if we had a fraction like 2 thirds and that was cubed now the fraction is in parentheses the cubed power is beside the parentheses that means parentheses times parentheses times parentheses three times so it's two thirds times two thirds times two thirds now you might remember how you multiply fractions you multiply the tops then you multiply the bottoms so this would be 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 over 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 27 right so you go ahead and do this one then 4 over 5 all squared so press pause and write down the answer Now the square is touching the parentheses, so that's parentheses times parentheses. 4 over 5 times 4 over 5. When you multiply fractions, multiply the tops, 4 times 4, 16. Then multiply the bottoms, 5 times 5, 25, right? How about negatives, though? If we had, well, <clears throat> let's just do this before anything else happens. If you have parentheses to the power of 4, what do you think that would mean? So let's say it's just an open parenthesis, there's nothing in there, but it's to the power of 4. Write down what you think that would be. Would it be parenthesis times parenthesis times parenthesis four times, right? Exactly, right? Um, so if we had this, negative 2 in the parentheses, and you have a squared outside. Now... The squared is beside the parentheses. Isn't that parentheses times parentheses? Negative 2 times negative 2. Right? And negative 2 times ne negative times negative is positive. So that's a positive 4. Right? So you go ahead and do this one then. If we have negative 2 in parentheses cubed, write down the answer. Now the cube is touching the parentheses, so that's parentheses times parentheses times parentheses three times. Negative two times negative two times negative two. Negative two times negative two, 
positive 4 times negative 2, negative 8, right? So what if we had, for example, um, negative 2 fifths in parentheses cubed? Well, the cube is such in parentheses, so it's parentheses times parentheses times parentheses again, right? It's negative 2 fifths times negative 2 fifths times negative 2 fifths, right? And you know what? We could calculate the sine right away. Negative times negative is positive. Positive times negative, the sine is negative. So write down the sine. Then write the fraction bar. There's the fraction bar. Now do, do the tops. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. Do the bottoms. 5 times 5, 25. Times 5, again, 125, right? 